It's second v third, but more importantly, it's the Manchester Derby. Roll the intro. Hello and welcome back to the Man United Save. I am Coach Left Foot. It's a pleasure to have you with me. And here we are. We're on the Man City screen. This is who we played today. Manchester City in the derby. And we couldn't be greeted with better news on match day than the fact that David Silva and Kevin De Bruyne might both not play. Kevin De Bruyne needs a rest and David Silva... Well, David Silva's injured, so he's definitely not going to play. But Ivan Perisic has also got a knock. Uh, Bravo's got a knock. They're not looking... At full strength, which is good. I mean, they've still got Bernardo Silva, Leroy Sane, Sergio Aguero, Gabriel Jesus, Ma- Mohamed El Nenny. What the hell is he doing there? Okay, they've bought for twelve and a half million. They bought Mohamed El Nenny, and he's made six appearances. That's ridiculous because he's not very good. Okay, well, hopefully they'll play Mohamed El Nenny, and then we'll run them riot. We're uh, not looking in the best of shapes either, injury-wise. That makes it look quite good. But if we take unavailable off, we have had a defensive crisis. Matteo Damian, Antonio Valencia and Luke Shaw all picking up new injuries, which is going to cost us. We have got some people we can play in those sort of areas. So as you can see, last game, Lindelof at right back, Daly Blind at left back. We've had to call up Dimitri Mitchell to the bench, who I'm not too fussed about because he's done pretty well every time he's come in so far. And yeah, he's a good backup option to have on the bench, which is okay. Looking at the previous games, then if we go into the schedule, we were last together for the Celtic game. We'd be Everton 3 0, Brighton 3 0, and Spartak Moscow 4 1. We have been on absolute fire. That man, Anthony Martial, getting two. Lukaku getting two against uh, Spartak Moscow as well. Lukaku here and Dolberg all getting a goal against Brighton. And against Everton, it was Martial, Lukaku, and Pogba. So Lukaku has very much pulled his finger out. He's on form. And he's actually playing so well that we've had to push Dolberg out to the inside forward role on the right. But he's playing very well as well, so it doesn't really matter. I mean, Rashford misses out, but I mean, Rashford's for the long term, isn't he? He's well, so is Martial, and so is Dukaku, and so is Dolberg, I guess. But at the moment, no one's really moaning about playing time. Everyone's happy that we're winning. Zlatan Ibrahimovic is not far from a return as well. He was out with his damaged knee ligaments. Um, he looks like he's going to be back pretty soon. I'm trying to remember where you can click on injury. So torn knee ligaments, he was out for seven months, but he is predicted to be back in the maximum of three weeks. So not looking too bad on that front, but I don't really need to talk about much else. Let's get into match day and go and play Man City. So this is how we line up in the 4-1-2-2-1. Uh, it's the same formation I just had on the screen. Man City also in a 4-1-2-2-1. Sane, Silva, Aguero. De Bruyne does start. El Elneny starts as well. Esquero, Otamendi, Company, Danilo and Edison. We've got the same. Blind comes in at left back. Lindelof in at right back. Smalling and Bai in the midfield. That's pretty much the only change we've made at the moment. Uh, we're going to talk to everyone and passionately say, let's give it, do it for the fans today. We're at home. We need to go and win this game. I'm not going to do anything else. Um, set opposition instructions. I've got to remember to do this. Apply advice. Um, hopefully my assistant is good at that sort of stuff. Right, a tunnel interview. Both teams come in in good form. It's very good to relish playing our good form. One question, that was it. Okay, we're going to play our good form and hopefully put a dent in theirs. This could well be two attacking teams playing each other. Again, we're at home. I'm not going defensive. I don't want to play for a draw or anything like that. I'm going for the win as we're in this form. But look at this fitness. De Bruyne knackered. Aguero knackered. Silva knackered. Fernandinho is looking a bit tired. The two defenders. I mean, Vincent Company is probably going to pick up an injury. So that would just be standard though, wouldn't it? Anyway, we'll be back if anything interesting happens. Oh, we have a highlight. De Bruyne with a free kick. In it goes to the back post. Company off the underside of the bar. And Lindelof clears it away. And the first proper chance goes to Man City. And uh, it's been pretty much a stalemate at the moment. Uh, Man City just starting to dominate shots, but we're having a bit more of the possession. But highlights-wise, not much is happening at all. Yeah, Chris Smalling has picked up a bruised thigh. We're going to leave him on for a little bit longer, mainly because uh, that means I'd have to bring two and Zabi on. And Herrera in the pouring rain in Manchester. Matic is there, and we go 1-0 up. Martial actually missed his header. Good reactions from Nemanja Matic at the back post. And again, it proves if you've got Footman 18, sort out your set pieces to how you want them to happen. It's actually Martial with a nice little knockdown, it said there. But um, it proves how much you need to focus on set pieces and training in general because 
if you've got your training set in auto, I can guarantee you're going to pick more injuries up than other teams. You need to consistently lower it when you've got lots of games and then improve, increase the training um, effort and how much you're doing and time when you sound like an international weekend and things like that. But going into half time, back to the game, going into half time, it looks like we're 1 0 up. We are 1 0 up at half time, which is a very good performance. The fans will be delighted. Quite a good positive atmosphere in the room. Most of the players are preoccupied with something else. Brilliant. Well done. Um, let's give the fans again. I'm not not going to change it. It's a passionate game. It's a fan-based game, this one, isn't it? You want the bragging rights in Manchester. As uh, Sane comes forward from the kickoff, he's just absolutely walks around Lindelof, ball in into the side netting. Nothing comes of it. And we can see we're both playing very attacking formations. Their fullbacks are pushing on as well. Look at this. Fullbacks pushing on and wingers. Um, it's going to be an interesting game. Bernardo Silva looking to get in behind uh, the left back does and De Gea saves it as near post to put it behind for a corner. And uh, what will Man City do here? They've got a free man at the back post who we're not really picking up. But he's gone to the near post. It falls to Escudero who fires wide. And we have the lead in a very tight game and there isn't too much else to say. Uh, Raheem Sterling comes on as a winger. To replace elite winger Bernardo Silva, which is very interesting. Sane's not. We've kept Leroy Sane very quiet as well. Smalling appears to be doing okay with that injury. Not too much going on there. I think I might take Lukaku. I'm going to take Lukaku off and bring on Rashford, and then we'll put Dolberg up front in that complete forward role and see if he can do better up there than Lukaku. I would like to get a second goal and make it comfortable. To be honest, that's really what I want to do. We have crept back into the game. I mean, they've not had a shot on target, so we have played very well to restrict their shooting. And they've given away lots of fouls, and they've picked up yellow cards. They've brought on Perisic and Gabriel Jesus, taking off Sane and Aguero. So that could cause us some problems. I'm just going to go into the tactics. That's not tactics, David. That's substitutions. Um, that's what I want, that tactics one there. I'm going to go into the opposition instructions and just update this to see what he thinks we should do for anyone that's just come on. So um, well, he thinks we should tackle Leroy Sane hard, and Leroy Sane's actually gone off the pitch. So that wasn't very clever, was it? I am going to tackle Perisic hard, though, because he's got his knock. So if we can you know, put him out of the game and make it 10 on 11, that would be brilliant. Not that I'm encouraging violence of any sort on a football pitch. That's not what I meant. But with 15 minutes to go, we are still 1-0 up. We're not really struggling anywhere. Matic having a... Bit of a fitness concern, but he's got the goal on a 7.9, so I'm definitely not going to take him off. We could take off Matt, uh, bring off Dolberg and put Matter on and put Martial or Rashford up front. I think that is what I'm going to do, actually. So we'll bring Matter on for Dolberg, and then we'll put Martial up front and swap those two over so that we have them at the inside forward so they cut onto their stronger foot. But with 1-0, a game of minimal highlights has been very even, to be honest. We have restricted Man City to only one shot on target, which I'm very, very happy with. And look how dirty they've been. 17 fouls to our 11. We've had more possession. Time is ticking down. It's going to be a relatively short episode. We might do a second game, you know, even though I didn't plan for it. But Blind into Matic. And that is the full-time whistle. When we get a 1-0 win against our neighbourly rivals, which is absolutely brilliant. Passionately, that was a great win. Well done. Really, really pleased with the team. Lukaku was uh, pretty disappointing, to be fair. I see the match. So, uh, yeah, we'll come back and we'll, we'll do the Burnley game together. Chris Smalling's injured. Three to four days, just what I need. Another defender, another defender out injured. Right, see you at the Burnley game. Okay, welcome back. So here we are for the Burnley game. De Gea in goal, Lindelof by two in Zabian Blind. Smalling didn't recover from that injury. Carrick comes in to replace the suspended Matic. And then from then on, everyone's the same as the last game. Burnley looking quite defensive, got target man Vokes up front. He's going to be a danger. I'm pretty confident we're going to win this game though. So assertively, we've got a good run. Go out there and impress. And uh, I think that's what we'll do. We're going to put that on to Roto. Rui Ferreira will sort out all of that. I didn't realise that button last time. But here we go. Um, a bonus game then against Burnley. Second one of this, the episode. They've got a lot of injuries as well. Ward playing with injury. Westwood with an injury. Uh, Ashley Barnes, Ben Me on the bench, both with injuries. So we look like we're managing the situation quite well when it comes to injuries. I mean, we do have to play a centre-back at right-back and... Well, Daily Blind is probably a left back at left back, which is fine. Carrick comes in for his first game of the season. It'll be interesting to see how he gets on. And uh, I'm not too sure he's going to finish the game out, but we've got a highlight. Tom Heaton with a goal kick. Forward it goes. Lots of people go for the ball. Bayer wins the head of Lukaku to Dolberg. Dolberg comes back with it. He's looking for a bit of space. Herrera, Pogba into Martial. Tackled. Ball forward, but it'll come to Eric Bay. Two and Zabi. Up to Pogba. Pogba into Martial. Martial turns. Tackled well by Lowton, who finds good Munson. And here come Burnley, looking to try and launch 
something, but it's not very adventurous from them. Look at all of these people they keep behind the ball. As Dolberg wins it back to Herrera, Lukaku turns into Martial's feet, looking for a bit of magic from Anthony, into Herrera. Dolberg's there, shoots top corner. 1-0 United, 17 minutes gone. Kasper Dolberg is incredible. He's just absolutely incredible. We look at it in 3D. Uh, in 3D? We're already in 3D. We look at the replay from behind the goal. Lukaku out to Martial, cuts inside. They are actually tracking our fullbacks quite well, but Dolberg had that tiny little bit of space he needed onto his left foot, curls it round Heaton. A lovely, lovely finish. And uh, yeah, brilliant. 1-0 up. So we have a throw. Daly Blind with a throw on the left-hand side into Carrick. He's tackled by Goodmundson, who hoofs it clear and finds Vokes' his feet. And now the target man's going to have to do something special from here. Into uh, Westwood, out to Arfield. Looking for Vokes again, but two and Toonsabe gets there, but then loses it. Bye covers, but not very well. Vokes picks it up to here with a good save. And Sam Vokes really should have put that away to make it 1-1. And uh, Eric Bai giving away possession pretty dangerously. But Carrick with a corner. Ball in. Two and AB off the line from Heaton. And then claims it at the second attempt. It's just so unlucky. So unlucky for Two and Zabies. He's actually done very well when he's come in and uh, deputised for injured or suspended people. Now I could have picked Phil Jones as we're still on the attack here with Dolberg. We'll just get back to that in a minute. Out to Blind. Blind on the left side. Ball in. Dolberg. Good save from Heaton. I think, yeah, it was. It's gone for a corner. I could have picked Phil Jones, but he wants to leave. And once you're on the transfer list, you do not get selected in one of my teams. I'd rather give a youngster who's got the hunger a go, like to and Zabi. Uh, and Phil Jones can just become very, very unfit before he moves in the January window to someone like PSG, Chelsea or Spurs. They're the clubs that are interested in him. Um, I have got lots of scouts searching around Europe for some talent that we can bring in in January. So we'll see how that does as Herrera comes forward and it goes wide to Lindelof. Ball across. Lukaku's there with a header. 2-0. I wonder what this does to the league table. Hopefully behind my... You can see it. We are up in second. This will put us four points behind Arsenal, who I think are currently losing to Chelsea. As Lukaku with a great header. Heaton hasn't got a chance from there. The big man showing what he can do and his form has improved massively which is really good for our um, our league and cup runs I guess which is good it's now a three point gap so Arsenal must have been drawing that game and they're now just gone behind so we're getting back into it which is great Martial to Pogba Pogba tackle well and Vokes brings it away he's shadowed well by Carrick but Carrick's just left him run but blind with a good tackle Carrick infield to Herrera Herrera up to Pogba we just we keep it so well. Jack Cork tackles Pogba, just as I say we keep the ball. But we win it back with our high press. Lukaku looking for the run of Blind, but Martial puts the ball out there anyway. Blind, back post cross. Dolberg couldn't get there. I thought he was set up for a volley. Lindelof, ball back across. Lukaku! Oh, he's at the bar. We keep hitting the bloody woodwork. It's so annoying. I can't remember a game where we didn't hit the woodwork. And the highlight ends up with going to nothing. But we are playing well. Martial's oddly struggling to get into the game. But... It looks like at half-time, two minutes of added on time, we're going to go in 2-0 to the good against Burnley. And we are playing some very good and very nice football. So, Arsenal are indeed losing to Chelsea, even though Hazard has missed a penalty. We're 2-0 up. Tottenham are 2-0 up after sacking uh, Pochettino, and they've put Scott Parker in temporary charge. And uh, Liverpool, who aren't playing today, also sacked Jurgen Klopp. So... That's that's an interesting one. Let's go assertively. I'm very happy. Keep it going. Not going to make any subs at halftime. I might, might look to take Martial off and bring Rashford on. But at the moment, we don't need to make any changes because we are dominating this game and we're dominating the football, which is really, really good. As Lindelof, that's a great tackle from Westwood there, to be honest, to put it out for a throw. Uh, Lukaku looking uninterested. That's not what we want to see. Let's say uh, concentrate to the team, see if that can uh, look out. Because De Gea is looking a bit complacent as well. So Herrera runs... And, that's got to be a penalty. It's a penalty. Lukaku's going to step up and take it. Looking for his second of the game. Big Rom. Come on. Send him the wrong way. Slot it down the middle. I don't care. Put the ball in the back of the net. Lukaku steps up. Fires it top corner. Heaton didn't have a chance. 3-0. 50 minutes gone. Let's make a substitution. I think that's the right thing to do at this point. Uh, we will take Martial off because in a 3-0 win... He's not playing well, which is quite a surprise to think when you think of the form he's been in as Lukaku sticks his penalty into the top corner. The keeper's got absolutely no chance. And just looking at these stats, 64% possession, five shots on target, 10 shots in total. We've, again, we've just restricted Burnley to one shot. It's very similar to Man City. But we are absolutely on fire at the moment as Carrick picks it up into Pogba. Pogba with a bit of time. Finds Rashford, who's through on goal. What an assist from Paul Pogba. Rashford with the first time finish. 54 minutes gone. 
4-0 Man United. As we see this in the replay, Ward with a clearance, it was poor. Lindelof could pick it off. Carrick, round the corner to Pogba. And look at this pass from Paul Pogba. That is a £90 million worth of player. Rashford's finish is absolutely superb. Absolutely brilliant. 4-0. Uh, with an hour gone, I'm going to make a sub. I'm going to bring on Dimitri Mitchell for a game for Daily Blind, who's had a good game, but I just think it's a good opportunity to give the youngster some minutes in the first team, and uh, hopefully he'll be able to contribute, uh, maybe get an assist or, I don't know, well, last time he came on, on the game offline, uh, he came on and within two minutes had hit the post, so that was very good. Rashford's in again. Good save from Tom Heaton as they're taking off a midfielder and bringing on a centre-back, so that's an interesting scenario to be in if you're a... Um, if you're a Burnley fan, Lotum with a free kick in the bottom right-hand corner. Bailey wins the header. Baitre wins the header. Cork. Tarkovsky out to Arfield. Scott Arfield infield to Waters. John Waters hasn't done anything in this game so far. But out to Scott Arfield again. He's only really got Sam Vokes in the middle to aim for. But he's managed to find Jack Cork. Good Munson on the right. Good little build-up play this. And just as I've said, John Waters hasn't done anything. He still hasn't done anything because he's just fired straight over the bar. Which would be incredibly disappointing if you were Sean Deitch because that was their best opportunity they've had. They've still only had one shot on target. They still haven't really had much possession. This is becoming a stroll in the park. Lindelof getting a 9.1 at right back. He really enjoys playing there. It's very strange. Uh, Leicester get a goal back against Tottenham with 10 minutes to go, so I'm going to bring on another sub in a minute. As Rashford comes forward, shoots from range, falls to Carrick just past the post. Couldn't put it in there, which is a bit unlucky. Uh, I'm going to give Jesse Lingard a game for Kasper Dolberg, why not? I was going to bring back Shuai on, but Lukaku's on a hat-trick, so I don't really want to take him off, because he'll probably moan at me. But we'll be back if there's anything that happens before full-time. Man City are 2-0 down. Excellent. As we tick down into three minutes of added time, it doesn't look like there's going to be that many more highlights. This will probably be the end highlight as Dimitri Mitchell comes on. He would have kept a clean sheet as well, as long as Burnley don't counter from this, as Rashford comes forward. He is tackled by Lowton, but there we go. It is full-time, and that is a superb... 3-0 win. Look at that. Absolute dominance. No yellow cards. 12 foul. We only found them 12 times to their 17. 8 shots on target out of 17 shots on total. 60% possession. The worst performance of Martial has still got a 6.8. So all in all, a very good episode to be honest. An absolutely brilliant SLA. Certainly. Um, that was a good win. Well done. I don't need to say any more than that. They look very happy with that. Right. Now... Um, I've just unlocked an achievement saying you're on fire, which I think means we've won six games in a row or something. So we meet our expectation. Lindelof was superb. Well, um, the assistant can go and do the press conference for now. Dynamics-wise, let's have a quick look like we normally do. Is there anyone? No, everyone. There's no one hating me at the moment. Now that I'm playing Lukaku, people seem to be pretty happy, which is good. Uh, happiness rating Carrick is only on a good... Yeah, he's going to be sold at the end of the season or in January. If we can get some money from him in January, I'll probably sell him. Um, we've got Phil Jones, obviously, is... Well, I wouldn't say he's fairly good. He's on the transfer list, so I wouldn't be surprised. But look at all these green arrows. It's getting very, very good. The hierarchy. Have we got... Well, we don't have a green arrow next to our room. Uh, next to our room. Next to our name anymore. But if we look at the schedule, then we'll be back. I want to play a few more games now. I might come back for the FA Cup third round and the Chelsea game and do them as an episode. Because... Um, I'd like to push on, and that would be in the January as well, so we can see if there's any movers or shakers happening in the beginning of the January transfer window. But uh, I think we'll leave it there. So thanks very much for watching. If you're enjoying these series, leave a like. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like as well. Uh, if you're looking forward to more Foot Manager 18 content on this channel, why not leave a like? The likes allow more people to find the videos, so that every like that's left is very, very helpful. Um, hello to all the new subscribers as well. Thank you so much for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed yet, just click that little red button, and it'll be very easy for you to do that and you'll get notified of every time I release a new video which is pretty much daily. With all that waffle done, for now I'm out. Cheers.